Welcome to CTV Sports and the 17th game of the World Pro League 2024 Palm Beach Open, where we have Pilot going up against Travieso. And uh, coming to you today for this first of our two semifinals, we are at the Pilot Polo Farm. As you can see, they're very nice aerial shot, 71 degrees Fahrenheit, and a very, very nice Sunday, Easter Sunday morning here. Yeah, beautiful day here, Jan. And uh, this is our first semifinal. We love the semifinals. We've been looking forward to this. And uh, Travieso, uh, big win to get to this uh, spot, this fourth, the fourth spot as pilot. Congratulations, winning out overall in our bracket system of the 2024 Palm Beach Open this season. And uh, remember, we had the two brackets who played the cross bracket. And um, then they ranked the teams. And then we have the bracket of four. And um, it was very, very close. Pilot 3-0 on the cross bracket. Yan and uh, Audi, they were 3-0 in the uh, four bracket. And bracket three in the 14 bracket. They, had, they went to net goals. They are both plus 11. And then they went to gross goals. And Pilot had 40 gross goals compared to 39 Wow! for Audi. Wow. It just shows you, and we were talking about that, how competitive and close these games have been. And, of course, congratulations to Casablanca. <clears throat> they uh, they won the third spot. Uh, and then uh, Travieso, they uh, found their way into the playoff. They did indeed. And, and uh, against, uh, I mean, we got to think, well, we got to give, uh, got to give some love there to Maltese Falcons also. They, uh. They were in the playoff. They got beat by Travieso. Yeah, they were indeed. <laughs> Excuse me. Travieso, as you said, Dale, uh, let's just have a little uh, a recap of how they got through. Uh, first match was a very close one. They took on the San Fest, beat them 10 goals to 9. Then they beat uh, uh, Aspen Valley, as you said, 8 goals to 6. Lost to Audi. That was uh, quite a significant loss for them. But as you rightly said, 10 goals to 8 against the Maltese Falcons has got them through. Pilot, uh, Casablanca, 14 goals to 11. The Falcons, they beat 9, 11 goals to 9. And Alegria, 15 goals to 9. So they're a 3 and out, absolutely. Uh, yeah, this is going to be, uh, I think, one for the uh, for the history books and not to forget what we've got coming up this afternoon. Yeah, you got the doubleheader. Got we the have double our, our second uh, semifinal. Uh, we're going to have Audi against Casablanca, two of the big... Big guns. Indeed. Big teams going against each other. And uh, let me just remind you, if you uh, haven't already made arrangements, we'd love to welcome you down at Grand Champions Polo Club. We've got, obviously, everything uh, Easter uh, celebrations. We've got arts and crafts for kids and adults. We have a, an Easter egg hunt that will be taking place during half time, during which we will also be giving out or giving away a very nice Easter basket for the best dressed fan, Dale. Yeah. And for the most Easter spirited fan. Very cool. Uh, I like that. Yeah. And, and uh, I heard they got a special guest coming today. We, we do. Well, we've got helicopter in. Yeah. We've got the Easter bunny. Yeah. Coming in especially. Uh, you won't be able to miss him because obviously it'll be yeah. the Easter bunny. I can't wait. Yeah. I'll be here in the studio, but say hello to the Easter bunny for me. I will indeed. So uh, make sure you join us for that. And then, of course, right at the very end, the Wheelie Polo will be taking place. So plenty of Easter celebrations going on here this afternoon uh, at Grand Champions Polo Club. Yeah, and of course, we will be alive also on CTV Sports, and we will have our special guest. So you have to tune in, as we always have a special guest on every Sunday. And that's been uh, so much fun having the pro players uh, in the studios here. So we will have a special guest today, of course, for the, uh, for the 4 o'clock game. And um, keep that a, a secret. You have to tune in, or if you're at the field, of course, you'll be able to. Yan, Yan will let you know if you do go to the stadium today. <clears throat> and um, but yeah, it's, cause it's a great day. And of course, happy Easter to everybody around the world, family and friends. Been a great weekend. It has been a great weekend. Yeah, yeah. no, it really has. Yeah. And, and also to you, Dale, from uh, from me to you and your family, Dale, a very very happy. Easter. Me too, Yan. I, I, I send a, send send the love mutually uh, back. So. Um, now the calm before the storm, because uh, these are going to be some very, very, very <clears throat> intense games today. Uh, Pilot, they're going to bring in Curtis, of course. Curtis Pilot, congratulations, Curtis. And I'm uh, going to switch it up a little bit. They're going to put in Antonio Hagee. He played, uh, he played for Lucas James, if you remember when Lucas got injured. 
So uh, he's been on the team. He knows the plea, knows the team well. And then uh, they're going to bring Santi Torres. Antonio will play on seven. Santi will play on six. And then, of course, Facundo Pierres. Facu will control the team at 10 goals, 23 goals. Travieso in the purple jerseys today. Uh, Tony Calle on three goals. Been playing fabulous polo. Tomacho Pierres on six goals. Playing at a high level that we, you know, you can't even talk about. This guy's been everywhere. Pipe Versalino, awesome from the Penalano, seven goals. And Juan Mar Nero, uh, one of our favorite ten goalers. So, 26-goal team. They're giving up three goals to start out. And the first shot on goal coming there from Pilot. Just going slightly wide. So, I think you're absolutely spot on there, Dale. We're going to have, I think, a very offensively-minded uh, game on our hands here. Remember, this is uh, make or break time. The final of the Palm Beach Open scheduled for this coming Wednesday. So, uh, yep, this is going to make it or break it. Here we go then. And the team in purple, Juan Martinero, sends it out to the left-hand side. He's found that young man from Chile, Pipe Vecellino. And that combination, Pipe Vecellino and Juan Martinero, has been uh, deadly throughout this tournament. Back to the Tangola. Juan Martin gets it over the halfway line. He's up against Santi Torres. The ball coming off the pony there of Santi Torres. Picked up now by the number four in white. And you know who that is. The other Tangola, Facundo Pierres, turning things around very quickly. But uh, the man who does all the hard work, there he is at the bottom of your screen, on the left of your screen, Tomacho Pierres putting an end to that initial offensive. And away we go with Team Purple. Juan Martin Nero. Round the outside, Torres will jump on top of that. Now then, there was a man coming down that line by the name of Tomacho Pierres. So very unlucky there for Santi to try and steal that ball. Yeah, around the corner they go here. Antonio is going to press them here, the number two. Santi gives it up to Antonio. Going to see the rotation with these two young players playing today. Santi comes over there and... Then they got a whistle on the play. So they are going to call a right-away violation blocking. And first penalty of the day. Remember, we do have the challenge system in place for all of our semifinals. Each team will receive one challenge per half. You need to use it or lose it. And all the triggers are in place. You can challenge any call the umpires make and the ball placements. And 15 seconds after the calls are, are, are made on the field to actually make your decision. And uh, all the triggers are in place, and we'll go through the triggers as the day goes on. Penalty three, 40-yard shot, Pipe Versalino. No mistake. No mistake for that man. He's been absolutely solid, 100% here from the penalty line. Pipe Versalino picking up. As you said, Dale, the first penalty three here for Travieso. Yeah, once again, two teams, uh, Yan, you want to keep off the penalty line. Yeah. Facundo and I'm sure Antonio and Santi are ready to go. But uh, Facundo was scoring from everywhere last time we watched them play here. Um, we are live, Grand Cherry Polo Club, but this is the Pilot Polo Farm where they're playing the game today. And, um, yeah, Facundo was scoring for between that 80 and 100-yard line. Yeah, and deadly. So we will see how it goes. But this is a good way to chip back, get the first goal back when you got to give three to a team like Pilot. On the halfway line, left now for Pierres. Still Pierres up against uh, yeah, Pecholino. He will chase that. Torres gets a little touch, changes the direction of that line. A uh, little turn around there, gives it to Facundo. I think they were kind of in each other's way a little bit there, but a little bit of a spin on that to try and bend it like Beckham, as we would say. Facundo Pierres, a second shot on goal here. By pilot. Yeah, and it's just a little bit off the right side. You can see uh, uh, Facundo, he, he just, just a little missed it to the right side. He was he had an open goal there. He was trying to keep it away from the horses to the left. It's a little bit off to the right, knocking Juanmar. Just uh, choosing his option of where to play to. Facundo. Something must have happened downfield here. He's going to stop outside the play. And now it looks like everybody back in line, so they're going to keep it moving. See what happens. Watch downfield if someone. Oh, oh, yeah, just a uh, player going from right to left there. 
Got up on the handlebar a little bit. Want to make sure he was okay. So he kept the play going. Didn't call timeout. Back to the action, Santi. Torres gives it back to Pierres. Now then, he's got uh, another the Pierres there coming in. But, of course, his cousin, Tomacho. Uh, left behind for the number two, Antonio Heggy. Hasn't had that many touches yet in this uh, first chucka. Still Pierres against Pierres. Yeah, Tomacho needs to allow him to make a little bit of, uh, or give him a little bit of space to make that play now. Picked up by Santi Torres. Santi, of course, uh, also uh, no stranger to the World Polo League. Another one of those players I love to watch play. He's uh, such a workhorse. I mean, was he scoring like five goals in, yeah. in 12 goal one, and when he was playing in 12 goal? <clears throat> five goals in like three minutes or four minutes or something. He's fun to watch. Here we go. Pipe is also versus you. Sends it across the field looking for the number one. Looking for Kaye. But uh, didn't quite get through. Once again, left for Facundo. You get a courtesy change here. Probably a pup. <clears throat> you can get a fair play possession <clears throat> on... Uh, on the courtesy change as a good shot of Curtis and Facundo going off there. And uh, so they actually said a pretty, uh, it was a fun bracket system, Yan. Mm. <clears throat> we talked about it. We had the bracket one and bracket two. In bracket one, we had Pilot, uh, Kaya, and they played with Larry Austin, Lorraine Zuberi, Mart uh, Mariano Aguirre, and Santi Tocalino. <clears throat> they went 0 3 today, but they just got edged out. Of every game. They're right there knocking on the door. Park plays again 0 and 2. And I think they lost two of their games in overtime. We, we were talking about that, but they played with uh, Andre Borden, uh, Joaquin Pinello, and then they mixed it up a little bit. They had Toli Ulloa, they had Alario Ulloa, um, a number of different players that played. They kind of mixed it up, but they got edged out. They were they had two overtimes. He yeah. was pretty sure. <laughs> they were knocking on the door. And uh, that was bracket one, bracket two, Casablanca, who went through with Grant Ganzi, Rafino Benzedon, Sapo Casado, Lario Figueres. You'll see them play this afternoon. Alegria. And uh, they're another team. They were knocking on the door. They were in the hunt. Sugar Erskin uh, playing with uh, Tincho Merlos, uh, Jason Crowder, and Fred Mannix. And then in the Maltese Falcons with Mia Cambiasso, uh, um, Melissa. Mary Melissa did got, if he hit the ball, she got recovered from that, that uh, shoulder injury. But she is doing well. So it's good to hear that. But me and Kami out, so they mixed it up a little bit. Alejandro Nuvia Estrada, Proto play, Adolfo play. They had, had different combinations, and they were knocking on the door. They actually got beat in the playoff. That's your cross bracket. And then, of course, the th bracket three was Senfest. Um, and that was fun. Rob and, Mar Rob and Richard <laughs> having a good time this, this season. Marshall playing very well with Facundo Loza, Magula Prida, and Pedro Falabella. I think it's, but even though they didn't win, this, they played yep. some very good games. They they, this is one of their best tournaments. Yep. Travieso, of course, here, right here playing. I asked Ben Valley with Teo Calle. Tony's dad, Pancho Benzedon, Gandlito Pierres, and Juan Martin Zubia. And, of course, Audi, you'll see this afternoon, they won the, their uh, the bracket, 3-0. Mark Ganzi, Heta Casanola, Pablo McDonough. And, uh, of course, they've been mixing it up there, too, on their uh, on their fourth player. We'll see how they play today. Players back out on the field, Dale, after that quick courtesy change. And uh, Pierres, this time to Macho. Uh, bit, of a miss, a bit of a miss hit, but he's able to... Uh, Keep possession for his team. Remember, Traviesa are in purple. Pilot are in white. As, uh, again, that little clash of the two Pierises. Facunda this time coming out on top. Wins it. Takes it back. Torres tucks in behind. But a little bit of a miss hit there by Facundo. And Tomacho will leave the way clear open now for Juan Martinero. And this is what I mean about Santi Torres. Uh, such a hard worker comes back into uh, to defense. A little bit of a sword fight going there between Kaye and Heggy. Yeah, both of these teams still not yet quite on par with um, playing their game. It's still a little bit of touchy feely, just sizing each other out. See, it's a little huddle there, a little huddle here. Now then, let's see if that uh, can be a little break for uh, Pierres. This time, Tomacho beating uh, his cousin Facundo. Great first goal for Tomacho Pierres. Yeah, this works out very, very well for the uh, Travieso team. And <laughs> Juanma, 
with three players around him. It just shows you how brilliant this guy is. I mean, he looked up. He saw Tamacho all by himself. I think Facundo was like, how can he get out of there? And uh, Facundo knows him very well. And Mawar just snaps a quick little near side neck shot away from the pack. And, and not a pretty easy goal for Tamacho. I think it's going to bring us to our, uh, yeah, it's going to bring it to the end of the first chucker. So we'll get everybody on some fresh ponies, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. 2024 World Pole League Palm Beach Open. Yes, you make your way to Sunset Chucker the Cocktail because this is the fun type polo match. It's where everyone's relaxing, chilling, is having a great time, we have great hors d'oeuvres, and a special drink for the day. Welcome back to CTV Sports. I'm Dale Schwartz. I'm um, Ian Eric Frank on a happy Easter Sunday. Hey, Travi Aso coming on the field looking good in purple jerseys. And uh, good start by Travi Aso. Ian, you want right. to go through the team one more time? Maybe we've got a few uh, new uh, viewers coming in here to start off our first semifinal of the day. Welcome to CTV Sports. Travi Aso, as you said, Dale, they're in the purple shirts led by Tony Kaye, three goaler at number one. Tomacho Pierre is the six goaler. Picking up uh, the first goal, um, or the second goal, rather, I should say, in that first chuck. It was Pipe Vecchilino at number three, playing off seven goals, picking up a penalty three. That's how they started the scoring. And then, of course, Juan Martinera at back, the 10 goaler, playing the number four position. Pilot in the white shirts, Curtis Pilot at, uh, at number one, playing off zero goals. At number two, Antonio Heggie, the seven goaler. And then Santi Torres, the man with the red helmet there. Uh, playing of six goals at number three. And, of course, Facundo Pierres, the 10-goaler, playing at back. They came into this semifinal with three goals on handicap. And uh, Travieso, as you said, they're having a very good opening chucker. And not only that, they're going to continue playing the way they did in that opening chucker. And did uh, Vecchilino just uh, clear that? That's what I would like to know because they were very quick coming out of the uh, the throw-in. Wow. <clears throat> very, very quick is... Uh... Faku gets going there, and then Antonio Hege, who uh, father Pepe, has played a lot of polo against his father, Pepe Hege, and uh, must be very proud of his son. Now on seven goals, Antonio, and uh, Pepe, former 10-goal player, Argentine Open winner, Hall of Famer. So the ball's going to go outside, we're going to get a, a safety on the play. A uh, nice play here by uh, Pepe. By Pipe, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna save the ball, but hit it over the end line. It's gonna be Antonio. Do the honors. A little bit off to the right there. Good shot of the uh, view for the instant replay official, the IRO. If they do need a trigger, that is a trigger. We can trigger to see if that ball went out of bounds and who it went off of or the bar if the goal is in or out. Those are two of the triggers that the umpires will use today. You'll hear us talk about it. But on the knock, it's going to be Juan Mar. He's going to find Versalino. Versalino will be looking for Juan Mar again. There you can see coming from the right over to the left on the near side. Good pick up now. They're going to get round the outside of Torres. Yes, he can. Good first touch on the move. This could be a coast to coast. There's the cut shot. Ooh, unlucky. Yeah, I thought Bummer, he was on a roll. I like the give and go. 
And I love seeing Walmart go forward. Yep. Yeah, and a little different Travieso team we're seeing today. They're bringing out uh, some new offensive attack because Walmart's been playing more of a defensive back, kind of controlling the team, using uh, Tony in the front, Tamacho and, and Pipe, you know, working the center. But now they're sending him through, and I love seeing him go through. So it should be, like what Yan said, it should be a very strong offensive attack on both teams. On the break, breakaway here, nicely done. Heggy, Antonio, around the outside. Can he? Ah, we, he had Pepe Vecellina coming back with him, and he will send the ball out to the boards. He saw at least one, if not two, purple shirts uh, turning that way. Tomacho Pierres being one of them. Couldn't quite get the contact he wanted. Now then, Pierres sends it straight up through the middle. He's going to get a second. No, he's not. I was going to say he might get a second chance. Pepe Vecellina picking it up, stops and turns. And once again, Travieso on the move. Nice little touch there by Heggy. Gives it back to Facundo. And you can see there Heggy taking out Vecellino. Balls on the boards. Facundo not wasting any time. Picks it up, takes it off the boards. There's a power drive up to the front door. Oh, and Santi nearly got a piece of that. And he would have steered that one in. So Pilot turning up the heat here. Yeah, and good D again by Tomatra Bieres. <laughs> Santi... Very strong. <clears throat> and uh, Facundo going for the shot there. This, that's where Facundo was deadly in the last game. <clears throat> when he's shooting the ball between that 60 to 80, uh, he is, you got to watch out, man. He can put them in from all over the place, either side of the goal. So I think you might not, you'll probably be watching for that today, Trevier. So trying to make sure they try to block that when Facundo gets in that area. So again, quick start and away we go. Stolen. By Facundo. Now watch on the right of your screen. There he is. Heggy Antonio. That ball didn't quite go through where he wanted it to, which was on his stick side. So turn around and again now on the left hand side. Pipe Vecellino, a lot of space to work with. First touch not perfect. Able to correct himself. But uh, in comes Mr. Ten goal up. Vecellino. And you can see he's looking over the field. Now then Heggy. There's the cut shot. Looking for Kaye. Yeah, he slightly overran it. And again, it's game over. Facundo Pierre is turning things around. Who's he going to play this one to? Let's have a look at the clock. Uh, I think in another two in a row. Yeah. That's good polo. That's yeah. very good polo. Yeah, and people people probably, probably wondering why we're saying good polo. Is what we're calling is that we've had two uh, courtesy changes called with fair play possessions for Pilot and... Uh, you know, just because Pilot had the ball. It could be anybody, but both teams playing so open and clean, keeping each other off the off the penalty line, that you, that you that's why the courtesy change is in place. Running for a good three and a half, four minutes there, Yan. And uh, remember, 235. Uh, Secretariat set the record to Belmont. So, good polo. No, good polo, and uh, above all, which is nice to see, uh, clean polo here from both teams. But I think um, there is still a lot more to come. I think oh, no, I mean, they're playing defense so stuff. That's why there's not a lot of scoring. But, I mean, the passing and, the, you know, just the game has been all over the field. And, and both teams using uh, each other. They're, they're, they're trying different tactics early. I mean... It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun one. Second half action. By the time we get into the second half, this game is gonna because they're they're so well organized, so well mounted. It's kind of almost kind of like they're feeling each other out a little bit here. But both teams play well. All we had was that one open goal penalty three, and otherwise, Wanmar was had three guys around him on that one play. Remember inside the sixty, yeah, yep. and he finds Tamacho for the other goal. Otherwise, uh, they uh, and have kept Pilot. Um, Pilot not getting a goal yet. No. No, so uh, I know, but the, uh, for, I mean, in a, Facundo's been been in the area, but he's had opportunities. He's 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 looking for it. We're going to get one because he's had two or three shots from yeah. that from that sixty to eighty. Just uh, one one a little wide, one was a little bit short. You know, just getting it going. So players, I think, uh, all back out on the field. Yeah, as you said, we're going to continue the action with. Uh, uh, a hit from the spot here for Pilot, taken quickly by Facundo Pierres, out to his left-hand side. Uh, 
Antonio Hagi wants to send it back to Facundo. Slight deflection. Now, this could be a break play here. And you know what happens, Dale. Pipe Vecellino. Yeah, you see that there he is, not wasting any time. Santi Torres, was he gonna, is he going to get there in time? I think he might. No. Well, you don't see that very often. No, but <clears throat> this is, you know, this is what we're talking about. Shooting from way out, putting the pressure on. Uh, comes off the horse there. Bad luck. What do we say about broken plays, Jan? Exactly. They lead to goals. Yeah, they lead to goals. And Pipe, knowing that he's got to get rid of that ball because Santi was in the spot. And uh, just bad luck. Bad luck there, Santi. Because Santi actually read it perfect, timed it nicely. Uh, great shot by, Ver by Pipe. Um, but bad luck for, for uh, Torres. On the back shot. Yeah, very unlucky. He beat the ball, but then just... Uh, yeah, you see his timing was there. Too. Perfect. Was there. Yeah. Perfect. So, that makes it three apiece. So, uh, that is already a, uh, a big achievement here for Travieso. Still no score from Pilot. And we are in the second chucker. Change of possession. Cap on the pitch. Faku. Uh, to the left, yeah. That left-hand side seems to be quite a... Quite a little bit of a Achilles heel here at the moment because uh, they've been playing the ball out there on a few occasions. But once again, look at this, Travieso on the move. A little flick of the wrist. And again, Santi Torres. And again, Santi's beaten. Wow. Well done, uh, Juanmar. You know, he puts his ball to the outside. Watch the finish here. First of all, great give and go. And um, perfectly passed by Tamacho Pérez. And you see how he hits the ball to the far post? Yeah. Hits that ball dead center. Torres gets it. Juanmar hits it to the far post. Makes it more difficult. Santi can't get out there no, to get it. No, what a no. shot, man. So, Dale, Travieso take the lead. Yeah. And I like to see the number four run forward. Mm -hmm. So, Travieso seem to be uh, the team that quick are quicker, quickly finding their rhythm. Playing their game, Torres off the boards. Now, who did that come off? Hmm. Okay, did come off. It's gonna be for the purple. One off Santi there. Yeah. <clears throat> so another change of possession. Cop on the pitch. Nero gets it over the halfway line. Sends it down the boards. I thought he might do that. Cellino gets a visit from Torres, a little under the next shot, trying to send it back to Calle, still. Ch uh, the man from Chile, Pipe Vecellino. Uh, he's got uh, Tomacho behind him, gives it to uh, Tomacho, and he will send it into the danger zone where uh, uh, Calle was facing, unfortunately, the wrong way, and there is a whistle on that play. Yeah, Louis went to meet that ball, maybe got a little bit sideways. We'll have to take a look at it here. Send him forward right there, Tony. You can see. And then Tamacho sneaks it through here. And. Yeah. Little unlucky there for Kai. Yeah, it's coming across. It's trying to get around quicker. And uh, penalty 5A, Facundo. Quickly taken. Back to Facundo after Heggie left it for him. Down to the last few seconds. Well, so far. Travieso, everything running to plan, and nearly another broken play. Well, they're keeping the pressure on. Look, and it's all on that halfway line. Now, possibly, Pierre is with a very nice pass to Heggy, and uh, he just can't get past <laughs> Tomacho Pierre's as uh, he will clear it and it will be extended. Back to Vecellino. Little backhand shot there from Pilot. Now, oh, again, just about to run away with it, but I think they'll run out of time there, Dale. Yeah, that's going to run out of time, so I'll end our second chucker. So, once again, Travieso, uh, keep it fire up, but it's going to get hotter. Both teams still have challenges for the for third chucker. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. Welcome back indeed, and a happy Easter once again. And uh, there you go. Great shot of the pilot Polo Farm here for the 2024 World Polo League Palm Beach Open semifinal number one. And, well, nah, pilots, uh, they haven't scored a goal yet. A no. little bit slower start than yeah, usual for yeah, Pilot. Yeah. And uh, in their, uh, you need to take a look at their last games in their early, early uh, games. The early, earlier, when they played multi Falcons, the Falcons fouled, gave them some open goals early, and they jumped all over that. But they, they still put up nine goals in the first half of that game. So. Uh, yeah, give up to the Travieso defense here a little bit, Yan, I would say. Uh, playing pretty well. And their offense is <laughs> playing great. And um, then uh, they uh, they had their another game where they were really still pretty good in the first half. And I uh, remember they got the three goals on handicap here. So, no no, worry, no worries, really. It's keeping them right in the spot. Uh, new, different team. Like I said, seeing they kind of switched it up with Santi and uh, Torres and Antonio now with Curtis and Facundo. So we'll see what happens here. Four to three. And uh, there you have him. Facundo Pierres weaving his way out of that traffic. So Pierres, the 10 goaler that's playing for Pilot. And of course, Juan Martinero, the other 10 goaler on the field, playing for Travieso. Torres gives it back to Pierres. Well, they're getting closer and closer. There is uh, the big, big shot down the field. But uh, it's not going to be an easy job getting past that man for sure, Juan Martinero. Yeah. Oh, did he just do that quick enough? Well, a little entanglement. And uh, will we get a whistle on that? I fear that we might. No. No, no, no. He's, he's clean. He's going across there. That line was going the other way. Good night, call. Little deflection there coming off the pony, picked up by Torres. Santi Torres now, he's found a gap. Still Torres. Now, yeah, a bit of a miss hit. Hoping that there'll be another player in white behind him. But Pipe Vecellino, I've got to give it up to uh, Traviesa. All four of them, Dale. Uh, hands on deck. Very much. Working well together. Yeah, working very well together. Very high level of concentration. And again, shutting down any kind that resembles an attack by Pilot very, very early on. They've got the ball back. And uh, now let's see what uh, Juan Martinero's got up his sleeve. Uh, he might run this. He's doing what you like so much. He's going up forward. There's the under the next shot. Heggy will come in between. It's still his line. He knows it. So does Kaye. Now. Ah. Uh, all relative to speed, but in he comes. The two ten goalers there battling it out. Ball goes down the line. Heggy takes it off the boards, gives it back to uh, Pierres. Again, all very clean, but they're standing very deep and very tight with their opposition here is uh, Travieso. Now Facundo has found a little gap. Yeah, but who's he going to play it to? Nobody down there. Heggy too close. Left and picked up and turned by Pipe. Wouldn't be surprised, Dale, if we have another. You're going to get a third one. Yeah, you good. are. And we're getting a third uh, courtesy change call probably for the fair play bowling, if you ask me, the uh, fair play possession. They they are playing great pole here. Good. Uh, or as you said, Travieso working well for each other. Back and forth here, and now we get a whistle. Look at everyone ready to go, man. You're yeah. ready to go. Walmart's ready to go. He's got, he's got his team fired up. Yeah, he has. Right here, he's trying to talk. Kind of gets caught in there. They get uh, Santi on the blocking <clears throat> foul, right away violation. And I'll take it to your courtesy change. So we'll see what they decide <clears throat> when we return. After we get uh, everybody on some fresh horses, get a shot of the Pipe. Lino go from horse to horse here. 
And they, uh, well, the horse is here for the Treviso team. The Silver Nuisia Shrada helping out there too. Remember we had a lot of the junior PTF, junior players. Also play in uh, play here in the uh, the Santa Rita Polo Farm. They have the uh, juniors play. Ladies, young ladies and young gentlemen play in the evenings. <clears throat> it's great for the uh, for the kids. Gives them a lot of extra polo. And also they uh, they do the same in Aspen at the Aspen Valley Polo Club. So if you're looking to play polo in the summer, of course, you go to AspenValleyPoloClub.com. Good shot here of Facundo Pieres talking with uh, his team. Is a uh, they organize. Trying to put it. Trying to work it out. I think both teams are still, you know. Not 100%, they're yeah. They're still trying to figure it out. Like, how yeah. do we, what's going to work? What's going to work? And uh, <clears throat> right now, like you said, Travieso getting a bit of an edge. You know, they, they got three from the field. So those are three three, uh, three goals that they've worked down. But as we, you and I were talking about, they're, they're doing a good job working for each other. Yeah. And I think that's probably what Facundo is probably just talking with him. Get Curtis, Antonio, and Santi flowing around him. Um, he's taking a few shots, though. He's going for it. He'll, he'll get it dialed in here where it's early. Um, but he's definitely taking those, gone for those, those, those uh, 60 to 80 yard bombs that he hits. And uh, when he does get on. But congratulations to Trevieso. Keep him piloted off the uh, penalty line. Yeah. Uh, the only, the only they're giving him a 5A. Yeah, and here in the first uh, three chuckers. And I think they're going to come back here, I believe. We'll see where they decide to place this. Looks like Pipe is lining up here on the gray mare. And uh, for the open goal, uh, Juanmar, Nero had the ball. Player come from left to right, blocking. Uh, you will get an open goal penalty, two 30 yard shot. And Pipe. So, Dale, did not expect uh, it to go this way here in the first half. Still no score from Pilot. Goal number three from uh, Pipe Vecellino. Yeah, they're all score, they're all goal scorers. Yeah. You know, on Pilot. So, you know, is it, you know, you got to give it up. I mean, good D. Chevy Aso has been. You notice they haven't they haven't had that give and go connection yet. Pilot yeah. still trying to look to got to try to get somebody free, and that's you got to give that up to the Travieso defense. Um, and uh, but we'll see if there's this is going to be a, probably a call on the follow through. Keep an eye on the mallet here of number one in the purple. Watch right here. You're going to go up across. Watch the follow through right here. Right there. Goes off the nose of the pony there. You got to be careful. Remember, you got to be in control of your mallet 100% of the time on the pole field. That's probably the call you find most of the time on dangerous use of the mallet is, is the follow-through play. Penalty 5A, Facundo. So, they get themselves into uh, the half of Travieso. Again, taken out of the air. Torres leaves it for uh, Heggy. He can't control it. Pierres. Uh, it's going to be Nero out to the left-hand side. And uh, guess who? And, of course, Tamacho Pierres gets uh, the ball a bit further downfield again. Torres just uh, getting a piece of that. And again, Facundo Pierres having to pick up uh, the pieces here. Good touch by Heggie. Again, they get over the halfway line. Let's see if they can take it all the way. Well, that is a clever play because uh, Torres completely left on his own. And Santi Torres. Yeah, well, he won't miss that, will he? Oh, there you go. That's what remember I say, the give and go. First time they've connected, and that's what they've been looking for, trying to find that space for Kundo. And Antonio does a good job here. For Kundo to Antonio. And then Antonio to the inside, and that's uh, that's you see three purples there, so a little miscommunication for the first time here in the first half by Trevieso, and it hurts because uh, Santi's going to have an easy goal. 
So, pilot eventually get off and onto the off the ground and onto the score sheet, courtesy of Sandy Torres. And that makes it uh, four goals to five. Remember, pilot coming in with three goals on handicap. Now, let's see how quickly and how effectively Travieso will respond. On the ball, Juan Martinera leaves it for Pierres. Pierres nicely done. Outplays his cousin. Got a lot of space on the right-hand side. Torres needs to be careful. There is the drive. You could not play a more perfect ball to Tony Calle. Gets the putter out. Tony Calle. Well, Tony, man. This is, that's good composure right here. Tony, what a pass. I mean, Camacho, is, is he just playing so steady? Mr. Steady Eddie, we start calling him. Then on the defensive side of the ball, remember right at the, I, I had the opportunity to enter, but right here, this is just staying really focused because he's getting fouled there no matter what, so he's going to go get that goal. They played that, they let that play out. Antonio's kind of blocking him a little bit. They let they play a continuation, but good focus there by Kaye. Uh, top, top, top polo that we're seeing here, and well done, uh, Tony uh, Kaye. Just putting that one through. So they didn't uh, didn't leave us waiting long with that reaction after that goal from Santi Torres. At the moment, it's two goals to one. Uh, Travieso with an average of two goals per chucker. And, uh, oh, nearly a third one there coming in from Tony Kaye. Yeah. I don't want off the horse here. If he got blocked out a little bit, it's probably going to end the chucker. He's got in our first half. So two goal difference here. Um, Pilot will get it organized. We'll take a look at the stats here. Pretty close, I would think. Yeah, there you go. I mean, more shots on goal for Travieso, but look at they're winning the throw ones, pilot. Yeah, yeah. But and eh, not much here, you know. Still, still feeling sure out. We should be in for an amazing second half. We're gonna take a little break. We'll be right back. My name is Nacho Estrada. I'm from Argentina, eight goals. Hilario Figueras, uh, five goals from Argentina. My name is Martin Jauregui. Um, my handicap is six goals. I'm from Argentina. Silvestre Navillo, and I'm from Argentina, Buenos Aires. I'm Tomás Pérez from Argentina, and I'm six goals. Francisco Spinacci, and I am from Argentina, Buenos Aires. I'm Juan Bolini, and I'm uh, we go polo player right now, but it could be eight. And uh, I'm from Argentina. I oh, know, actually, now I'm American. No, here is a, it's amazing. The view, the, the fields, everything is uh, super nice. Question is what I don't like about Spain. I think I like everything about Spain. Uh, the weather, the field. Right now in the summer, I would say the best job in the world. Friendship, the, the people, the, the scenery, everything. Eh? This is my seventh year coming in a row, and I feel like I'm at home right now. So me and the family were around like, like we know the place for a long time, and, and we enjoy the summer a lot. When I come here, uh, winter and summer, I actually like Aspen more in summer. There's more stuff to do. All the mountains around here, like it's a pretty nice place, and it is nice to play because they are very good horses and I play with a lot of friends. No, I like the polo, the horses and the people. I like to do mountain biking and to go to the lake. Yes, going to the lake, uh, stay here in the barn, everything. It looks amazing, it's my first time here, but uh, all the, the, the things they, they're doing today is, is amazing, so I'm going to be uh, Enjoy, and I appreciate you to, to inviting me to be here in the, in the season. Christmas in July, uh, kids, are, kids are always looking forward for it. The day they come to Aspen, they know, they, they relate it with Christmas in July. It's an extra that they have here. I like Christmas in July because we like get all together and we receive a lot of presents.
have an opportunity. Santos Bellini going to fire one from 60. Oh! Off the post. Welcome back, everybody. And there's a uh, beautiful shot here of the Pilot Polo Farm as we come from the stables through field one into field two. To your left is the Santa Rita Polo Farm. You can see the, the red roofs over there, kind of the orange, yeah. orange roof. And then to the right is the Valiente Polo Farm. And uh, we were playing polo. Uh, we were playing polo there at six goal mm-hmm. last night in the afternoon. And uh, but here we are. I'm Dale Schwetz here with CTV Sports with Jan Eric Frank. Jan, you want to go through the teams for our second half? I would love to. We'd be delighted. We have Travieso in the purple shirts, led by Tony Kaye, who uh, picked up one goal in Chaka three and nearly picking up a second, playing very very well here uh, this morning. Then of course. To Macho Pierre is he? Well, we all know what I think of him. I think he's one of the strongest six goal players out there. Pipe Vecchellino, again, another one uh, of those super top players. It's just a pleasure to watch. And of course, Juan Martinez. Pipe Vecchellino, by the way, already picking up his hat trick, being very consistent, picking up a goal in each chuck. A pilot led by, and they're in white this after this morning, led uh, by uh, Curtis Pilas at number one. At number two, Antonio Hege. He's been. Um, very, very uh, active uh, in this first half. At number three, of course, Santi Torres, another one of my favorites. And Facundo Pierres, the man with uh, the number four on his shirt and the 10 goals in handicap. So two 10 goalers out there, both wearing the number four. You join us here at the beginning of Chaka number four. Six goals to four. Very consistent, Travieso, with two goals a Chaka. And uh, just the one coming so far from Santi Torres. Remember, they were given three on handicap. That's how you get to the four goals. But again, possession. And we saw that in the stats just now, the shots on goal, the knock-ins. Uh, the slight edge at the moment here for the boys in purple. Travieso, who uh, again are knocking on that door of pilot. Mm-hmm. You said it. But now it's second time action. And so we will see as... Camacho. Yeah, Camacho's going to get in there and just come around the corner. I think Facundo had his head down. Maybe didn't see him. There's a group of players there. Watch his plates. There's a lot of players that come together. Watch you throw a blanket over him. See, watch Facundo's head. Facundo's head's down. You see where we see where Tomacho is on the green helmet back there. Watch see Facundo's head's down. Facundo's head's down, you know, right there. And he just didn't get the ball moved quick enough to the right. And uh, Tomacho kind of come around the side. Or gr- great steal, but like I said, it's bad luck for Tom- uh, for Facundo. So, continuing exactly the way they did. And uh, that is now goal number two for Tomacho. But now it's turn of Facundo Pierres. And uh, again, he, you know, they, they don't even get within the 100-yard line of um, Travieso uh, because their defensive... Uh, Strategy is so effective. Again, you see, there's no getting through a little backhand. You notice that they've been doing that. Yeah, I mean, they interrupt you, but every time there's a guy on the ball, another guy comes on the outside. Yeah, they've done that. They did it in the first half. Yeah, and um, that's been a very big, 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 strong defensive play for Travieso. But here we go. This could be a a goal, but it's cleared with uh, well, a couple of inches, I dare say, to go. So once again. You know, great defense here by Travieso. Another shot on goal. Gone uh, unaffected here. But uh, let's see if this young man, Antonio Hege, he's going to take around the outside. Yeah, Virgilino working it very well. And Virgilino broken play. And we are, well, we have a two-man horse race. Virgilino gets it over the halfway line. Yeah, just wants to get as much distance between him and that uh, goal mouth on the near side. Ball just uh, now trickles over, so we will have a change of possession. The question is, who did that ball come off? Good polo, Travieso, once again. Yeah, and coming out strong. Keeping the, keeping the pressure on, as you said. Working well together. Change of possession here. Should go for pilot. Looked like Pipe put it out there. They can trigger these if they need to. That is one of the triggers to check and see if the ball does go. Who went off? Of. Okay, here we go then. As you said, in favor of Pilot. 
Facundo. Looking for Torres. Torres beaten uh, once again by Pierez. Tomacho. Now the hard ride off. But Tomacho felt it and saw it coming. And straight away, Pipi Vecchellino tucks in behind. Stolen now by Heggy. No taste of their own medicine there. Mm -hmm. Nice steal. Well done, Kaye. Good D. Once again, Tony. Oh, look at that. Full volley out of the... Out of the air, takes it downfield, and again they push Pilot back into their own half. Very effective, and this is what's also, you know, kept the goal uh, or the game running, which is why the umpires have to have had to enforce that uh, that courtesy change. But uh, it's also a question of time here, and as long as they can keep Pilot off coming within the vicinity of the goal and taking a shot, yeah, a little entanglement there. You saw it. Mm. Yeah. You're going to get a courtesy change and a penalty on the play. Bad luck for Tony. He's going to clear her out there, but <clears throat> he's got to clear in from behind. And then Facuna doesn't have an opportunity to swing. We'll see how, how they adjust, if they adjust it or not, what they decide to do here. <clears throat> Santi change horses for Kundo. It looked like they moved that ball to center for a 5B, but we'll see what they exactly go with here. But uh, once again, uh, hey, coming out, I think they're turning, the defense is turning the offense on for Travieso. Probably, especially in, in a tight game, a low-scoring game. <clears throat> um, they're keeping a very strong pilot team, um, you know, to one goal in the first half. And uh, that's uh, – that's – that's very, very good. You know, you're, you're, like you said, keeping control of the ball. Like the Audi team, secret to their success, more time possession. Yeah, that's Try to keep it away from Facundo as much as possible. Yeah, and there is definitely a game plan going on here. Uh, and I'm sure, and I would have loved to have been the fly on the wall there to hear what they were talking about in both camps at the halftime interval. But uh, that game plan that Travieso have implemented from, from the get-go has, has been very effective and, and is working very well in their favor. Yeah, no, definitely they're, they're, they're pushing up two-on-one, two-on-one, two-on-one. One again, man has the ball, especially when it's Facundo. <clears throat> um, they're going to put it on him. Facu's going to go for it here. It goes off the pony there of Nero. Now he goes for it. Well, that's going to be a little bit too deep. So, again, giving up possession. And that's exactly what I think Travieso's game plan is, trying to uh, get the opposition pilot to lose possession, take possession, run with it, run the clock, create opportunities, shoot on goal, and that's exactly what they've been doing. You know? Yeah, it's been working well. <clears throat> it's been working well. One player, like you said, one player holds uh, uh, one of the better players up. Another player comes from the opposite side. <clears throat> and they've been scoring goals. You know, Look at they're mixing it up. One for Tony, two for Tomacho, three for Pipe, and one for Nero. Uh, ball will just go over the sideboards, coming off uh, Pipe Vecellino. So that should be a change of possession in favor of Pilot. But the, uh, he did seem to complain about something. There was something going on a little bit further downfield. Oh, a little, little, little four-legged friend there. Remember, we do a lot of the four-legged friends to the field. But if you do, please charge. Uh, keep, keep them on lines. <clears throat> just uh, make sure that they... Don't run out. They can get excited sometimes. Here's the replay. Nero on the outside looking for Pipe. Pipe. And maybe looking for that right there. And they're going to move it. Yeah. So remember, we do have the two-point conversion in place, as always, here. And um, needs to be behind the line where Pipe has set this one up for the 5B. And, of course, the buzzer beater is in place. So remember, if you hit the ball before the second horn, it goes through the goal. It will be a goal, Pipe. Oh, Pipe is going for this one. Yeah, he's put he's a lot of power on that. And Kaye keeps it in play under the neck. If that was a set play, and that would have worked, that would have been play of the month. <laughs> wow. Was that Nero that came in there? Yeah. So now, Pilot and uh, the two Tangolas, shoulder to shoulder. Well, they were briefly. Here they are again. In comes the ride off from Nero to Pierres. Kaye will clear it. Looking for uh, Tomacho Pieris, but jumping in between that. There he is with the red helmet. Santi Torres. 
Facundo back up to Heggy. Heggy, well done, Antonio. Oh, that's a clever play here by Antonio Heggy. Just needs to control the ball. A little bit unlucky there. So, yeah, luck also, of course, is uh, a little bit on Travieso's side here. I really thought that Antonio was going to put that one through. He did ever so well just stealing that ball after that traffic jam he was in. So back to uh, Torres and Pierres. Maybe he'll have a go at this himself. But look at that. Two defenders from Travieso. Vecellino and Nero. Now Torres. And that's not... Uh, oh, that's dangerous. And he hit the post and it went on the inside. Well done, Santi. <laughs> I don't know how he got that one through there. Tremendous amount of ponies here. here keep that on this. Facudo works it and drops it. Santi's going to take his time. Umpire's going to say clear right now. So Pipe clears. <laughs> Not much room to shoot there. Yeah. But he found a way to get it through there and to get the high flag. I, 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 I don't know if you get another one here, Yan. Uh, gonna, they might get one. Yeah, they're gonna get one right for the uh, right for the third second one. Well, the ball's back in play. Torres, so far the only man to have scored here. Yeah, there's a a ball from Santi across the field. He's looking for Heggy, but it lands at the end at the feet of uh, Pipa Vecellino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna you need a whistle on the play. We'll let him work this one out. That'll send we'll send him off though. Um two players coming together there. Oh, they're still forty one on here, so they're gonna go ahead and uh they'll they'll uh they'll adjust this. Keep an eye on this play here. Uh, Tony was gonna be on you're gonna switch to the near side. And then Nero's gonna come up and try to take a near side play right here. Antonio goes offside first. All right, goes there and goes to the near side. So as he's going there, he's going to ride off, and, and, and Nero's going for the near side back shot. So this is a tough one because now I, did he make contact early enough? If he did, then Nero can't make the shot. If he's making, if he's moving towards the ball, towards, towards man, when Nero's mallet's moving, then then it'd be, it would be against. So that's why it's a tough one. This is a tough one. This is... Um, and yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see what the umpire. Uh, I'll show what the IRO is looking at because that uh, is one of those plays, as you said, Dale. That uh, <coughs> excuse me can uh, be triggered, of course. <coughs> well, they seem to be continuing with a hit from the spot in favour of uh, Travieso. Uh, so they went with the turn around by Pierres. He's found Heggy. Heggy will be looking for a last-second goal if he can. There are still 20 seconds remaining here on the uh, the clock. Dale, you have an update? Yeah, for us? okay. So they did go to the trigger on that, which I think is a, is a great trigger <laughs> because I, I explained it to you. As they finish this one out, I'll let, let Facundo finish it out, and I'll break it down for you. Facundo might have time here. Buzzer beater. And did he get it? Did it go? No, just wide. So, yeah, so what we had was we had a trigger on the play. And basically everything we were talking about, checking to see if Nero's mallet was going around. And that's why they had the ball. got the ball. Uh, Tony was riding into the shot when Nero's back. So, great call. All right, so that's, uh, we're going to send him off one more time, and we'll be right back. When I founded the Taqueria 48 years ago, the goal was to service polo players field side and carry a complete line of polo equipment. Since those early days, we now carry everything for the horse and rider. Anything that goes on or near a horse, you're lucky to find here in our store. We still have polo equipment made by polo players for polo players.
All right, here we go, everybody. Fitz Chucker and uh, waiting for the explosion here to happen between one of these teams. Still, still a deep, kind of a bit of a deep in the battle, but the chess game continues. Mm -hmm. um, that ball, the, the horn did go before Facundo shot there, so you will have a bowl in from the center of the board. So there was no buzzer beater there. The horn had sounded, so you will line them up here from the center to the board. Looks like everybody ready to go. Yeah, you said it, Dale, that explosion. That uh, pilot team, uh, apart from those two goals from Santi Torres, uh, it's been very thin on the ground as far as goals are concerned. Let's see if that can change now. There are two more chuckers to be uh, to be played, but you've got to give it up to Travieso doing a very, very good job. And yeah, Tomacho will be uh, very wise to let that ball run out of play. By doing yeah, so. You can see Fakuna get spun his mouth around there a little bit, you know, trying to get his timing on. That's as usually where he's on fire. So when he gets going, be careful. He's still got a lot of time left here. It's so, coming near on and knocking. Juanma, where is he going to play this? Echelino will come in, pick it up. Nero will take Torres with him. Again, a very, very nice ball out to the right-hand side to Calle. Little deflection there coming off Curtis Pilot, but Kaye with another nice little pass, and he was trying to get that round the outside of Eggy to feed that ball to uh, Tomacho. Would have been great if it had worked. Just didn't quite get there, but you see all of this work now here in getting the ball and uh, playing it, uh, obviously, to, 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 to a player that's not being marked is, is costing a lot of time, a lot of energy, and it just it feels like Travieso have an extra man on the field. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's a good defense. <laughs> They're going to get one here. Did they hit that one? No, just Tony wide. Tony just wide? Yeah, now you're saying. Again, it's like they go to pass, and it seems like you see another purple jersey appear. Yeah. Working hard. They're working hard. And like you said, very it's, it's tight. Yeah, but but if you think about it, I mean, two goals, one two point conversion, and, yeah, it's, nothing, and yeah. it's you know it's nothing. So uh, I mean, you know, even that, even that, once once they get on a roll here, get both the all these these teams, their scores. Like you said, I think uh, just waiting for the someone just to, like I said to explode, something just to happen, which is like. Because it's been so physical, very clean physical, as you said, Yan. I mean, because we don't have any, hardly any fouls. No. On the boards then, Pierres, will that ball stay in play? Well, just Torres gets a piece of it. Yeah, he was looking for Heggy. Now we have a whistle. Stopping the clock at 5.05. .05. Yeah, they come together here. Keep, keep an eye on us, see what happens. He comes across the field here. Looks like one uh, was going to back it. And then you got Pipe in there. You got Antonio in there. Another difficult play. Not a very easy one. That ball was going at kind of a little bit of an angle there. And then when we went to back it, then you have contact. Let's see another trigger here. Um, this is a, a trigger play. Anytime you have the contact, remember if you have the contact between two four-legged athletes when you have two horses come together. Or, of course, two two-legged athletes coming on a sword fight or on a tight play. It, it could be triggered. And you can understand why, as we were explaining the last play, where Juan Martin Nero made a near side back shot and Antonio Hage was going for the ride off. It's so difficult to see sometimes from the field, from a naked eye, from a plain eye, uh, whether the mount was in motion before the man made the contact. So right here... I like this call again. They're probably going to use the trigger on it. Uh, we had contact. Looked like Nero had the had the back shot and uneven ride off. Would been when been the call. So five A, Nero. Quickly taken and he's still working it. Here we go. Nero over into the right hand side. Always lost his mallet head, but uh, luckily for him, it's going to be picked up now by. Tomacho Pierres. Pierres looking for Pipe Vecellino. He's found him. Echelino, as uh, Pep, as uh, beg your pardon, Tomacho tries to take uh, Hege out of the equation. Now then, big, big, uh, important pickup here. Well done, Curtis Pilot, clearing that ball. But uh, he's got Kaye on him straight away. Pilot being told to give some space here for uh, Facundo Pierres. 
Still Pierres. No one to play it to, really. Everybody marking up well. Look, there's again, straight away, Tomacho gets a piece of it, but um, I think this is going to go in favor of Facundo. Yeah, Facundo kind of baited him a bit there. Needs to be a little further up for Tomacho to be clean here. Facundo takes it once. Tony's going to push him. And still behind the boot there a little bit. Tomacho trying to make it look good. He tried to, he tried to, pull, tried to pull away. But then Facundo put on the, put on the jets also to kind of get his pony in a better spot. So you will get a reaching call. And uh, so opportunity here to get it within one goal. You're going to have a goal shot penalty. And this is going to be, believe it or not, their first goal shot penalty of the day. Wow. I think we had one safety, and Tony had yeah. a safety in the first. Um, but otherwise, they have not had an opportunity from the from the goal shot penalty. So, we'll see what they uh, decide to do here. <clears throat> or who's hitting. I think Antonio took the last penalty four, or actually penalty six. Beautiful looking horse here. Love the 4K here. CTV Sports. Mm. Beautiful shine on that horse. Look at that. That is magnificent. Facundo Pietes. Juan Martin Nero. Juan Martin doing a great job. Uh, he's, got, he's got his team lined out today. Yeah, he certainly yeah, does. Yeah, uh, like I said, I, I like the game plan. Game plan been working out very well. Good shot of Curtis. Pilot. Uh, the uh, mobile, Mobile, Alabama area, actually, Curtis. And beautiful polo farm here in Wellington, Florida. Get everybody back here after this courtesy change. And, uh, well, both teams still have challenges. And so yeah. that's going to be an opportunity if needed here in the uh, final two chuckers. Or final chucker and a half. And... Um, just a couple triggers you use, and I think they're good triggers because, like I said, the plays were not easy calls. Easy to blow the whistle, hard to tell who fouled. Yeah, well put, <laughs> well put, Dale. Well you know, there's a lot of easy, a lot of times you say, oh, there's a foul, but you know, what, what, what happened actually happens. Here we go. 60-yard penalty for Facundo. He's going to take a stick back. Yeah, it's just not, uh, not gelling today, is it, Dale? It's one of those days, yeah. yeah one, of those day, one of those days, yeah. I mean, remember, remember last time we watched going on this field, man, he was, everything he touched was yeah. gold. So it does happen. But a lot of time left still. Two goal difference, not much. There's nothing. Yeah. They got to finish. Both teams still got to finish. So Nero leaves it for Pipe Vecellino. Vecellino gets it downfield looking for uh, Tomacho. Good passing once again. Tomacho Pierres. And Tomacho's going to come all the way across there. I'm surprised he didn't stay near side. Maybe he didn't think Facundo was coming up, but we'll keep, just keep an eye on number four. He's, remember, player following the ball has a right away over a player moving from right yeah, to left. Yeah, yeah. And he had been fine on the near on side. On the near side, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe he didn't think he was coming. He probably thought, yeah, either that or he thought there was enough gap. Or yeah. Enough, or enough of a gap. Yeah, there. he must have thought enough speed. But uh, so that's going to put, well, it's going to put him in range here at about 120, penalty 5A. He'll tap it up to 110 and hammer it. Yeah, but that's going to go out to the left, and it's going to be cleared by Travieso, by uh, Kaye. But hello, Facundo's back. Yeah, for the first time in a long time, they're within the 30-yard uh, the zone. <clears throat> but again, the pressure... The pressure to uh, get him out of that area, Facundo. Yeah, he's done well. He's beaten them. That's what we were waiting for, Facundo Pieris. Hey, how many guys did he have to beat, though? Yeah. Yeah, and he had to beat every player to score that goal. Yeah. I mean, he started with Juanmar right here, tried to take his mallet, then Tony, then Tomacho, then Pipe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he had to go through the whole team. 
Oh, well, done. great goal. I mean, I mean, imagine though. I mean, just showing you how uh, tenacious the Traviesa team is. Everybody trying to get a piece of uh, Facundo Pieta's there. They just couldn't do it. One goal difference. Ball back in play. Now then, will Traviesa, ha like they've done in the past, answer very, very quickly with another quick goal? It so mm, could be trouble here. Getting it on the wrong side. <clears throat> Remember, no right away on the near side in a game of polo. When you have a player in the vicinity of the ball, that ball comes across the field. Then it changes again, and then he go. Tony yeah. goes near side. So he, he what he need he'll be okay there. And actually, I'm not sure, I'm sure if that line changed again. We saw it coming across the field, but even if, even if Tony was on the line, oh, he would have to switch to the to the offside to give the play to give an opportunity for a hook for um, Torres to hook him. And even though, yeah, he was on the line, but he went to the near side. So if he switches to the offside, he probably gets hooked. Um, and that's why you're about to get a 60 out of this. And they're going to switch. Uh, they're going to pass the stick now to Santi. Well, everybody, everybody trying today. Yeah, yeah. And they, uh, Antonio tried first, then, then Facundo, and now, and now uh, Santi. Left four. Tomacho. No luck from the 60. No, for not pilot at the moment. Today. Yeah. And that's another perfect pass from Tomacho. Pierre is, oh, unlucky there as he just put that out to the right. Did not quite get underneath it. But again, great positioning player. Look at this. Up to the front door, Tony Kaye. Just needs to get past Curtis Pilot. He's got to be quick. Torres is coming. There's the shot. Well done, Tony. Yeah, Tony. Having a good tournament. Yeah. You know, I mean, I got to give it up. He's playing well. The horse is playing well. Pipe quickly to the center. Tony waits on it. That's You can learn a lot from that being a number one. Is then just keeps the ball in behind. Curtis, Curtis doing his job. And uh, gets rid of the ball just enough time before Santi gets there for the hook. Great goal by uh, Tony, number two. Yeah, he did. Uh, he did really well there. So if this uh, chucker ends the way it currently looks like it could, Dell, then uh, despite the fact that um, Pilot have scored, well, you only need one chucker. Yeah, you know we've seen this yeah, in the World yeah. Polo League. And Juan Martin Nero knows it. And he wants one more. Nero on the breakaway here. Yan, this is a wide open. Look at this pony drop its head, keeping it out in front of Facundo. There's the approach shot. Is it too far to the right? Whoa. Well, maybe. You got what it. a finish. What a finish. That's a high flag for you right there. And that is a two goal swing to the highest level. Yep. Juan Martin Nero knows it. You need to make this goal. You got Facundo Pieta is in the rumble seat right here. Look at this mare run. Off to the outside, no problem for the 10 goaler. Stay relaxed. Just pop it to the inside. Que golazo, Juan Martin Nero. That'll end it. We'll be back for our six trucker. Another great season. We had a blast this year. Great fields again. They keep getting better and better. And we got lucky with the rain this year and uh, had a lot of fun polo. There's nothing better than being out here in Aspen, playing with these great people. Amazing views every day. 
I mean, how could you ask for more? Best part about being out here in Aspen for the polo is the fields, the community, Melissa and Mark, the great competition, and, uh, and the amazing horses, and how the horses enjoy being out here. I love the town, I love the valley, I love also spending time here in Carbondale. Um, so I just love this place in general. I have a lot of friends. I've made lots of friends over the years. The Gansis has have created a spectacular place here uh, that has become a really important summer destination for polo in America. Aspen, I love it that our family's around, a ton of horses, a ton of golf, and a lot of fun for them. So. Once again, a very happy Sunday Easter. My name is Jan Eric Frank, and I'm sitting next to a man by the name of Dale Joseph Schwartz. That's it, right there, Dale. Always a pleasure, and thank you once again for having me here at CTV Sports uh, Studios. It's uh, so much uh, great having you back. Yeah. Thank you so much. Fun. And I think uh, you're gonna have a fun day. Uh, tell us a little more about what's going on out there today. You had a big day out at the, out the stadium. Yeah, we certainly do. We have a double header here at, uh, at Grand Champions and, of course, at CTV Sports. The, our second semi final, the Palm Beach Open, will be taking place this afternoon on that legendary field number two at Grand Champions Polo Club. Audi are up, up against Casablanca, father against son. Uh, David against Goliath, call it what you will, is going to be a thrilling second semi-final. And as it is Easter Sunday, we of course, uh, as we always do at Grand Champions Polo Cup, have thought of uh, all the potential wishes that could be there. We've got great finger food, we've got arts and crafts for the kids and the adults. We've got an Easter egg hunt at half time and after the game we also have the Easter bunny coming in from Bunnyland. And we're going to be giving away a very nice Easter basket for the best dressed fan and the most Easter spirited fan, Dale. So, yeah. um, and I wanna, you, I want to, I want to ticket the bunny land. Yes, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the Easter bunny. Uh, apparently, it's just a surprise guest who's uh, yeah, doing you that. never know. So, here you go, Facundo Pieta is going to start off the six chucker, and this is what you need to do down by three. Facundo is going to take the ball right out of the bowl, right out of the, the bowl in, and just go. Just directly by himself. Just go with it. And um, end up getting a foul. So, just a, just a strong play here by Facundo Pieres. <clears throat> and a must-needed play. Because uh, the goal at the end of the fifth by Nero, sensational. And that extra goal was just so, um, well, to, you know, to pressure reliever. And so Facundo, right now, boom, great play. Wins the bowling, Keith gets, just dominates the field all the way down the field, ends up getting that penalty two, and finishes. Two goal difference. Right. Ball is back in play, and uh, this time it looks like Juan Martinero will just be uh, told to take a deep breath. Let's have another look at that play. Here it is as they line up on the halfway line. Yeah, it just pops out, and then um, looked like Santi went over the top of it. So uh, blocking, shading, penalty five, eh? Nero, Pipe. Back to Nero from Pipe Vecellino. Again, they're in the half of Pilot. Now, they are leading by two, but of course, every attempted effort... As long as uh, Travieso have possession, is going to cost time, and that's going to have an unfortunate bounce. Well, Antonio Hegeje got there just in the nick of time, but look at that! This looks like power play coming in again here from Travieso. Yeah, Torres knows he needs to give some time, and that will come off Santi Torres's pony. Mm, bad luck. Bad luck. Good play by Tony, though. Pipe reads it perfectly. Falls into the rumble seat. Just uh, bad luck off the pony. Knocking coming. Facundo. And he's deep down in his own half. So, but uh, like I said, I'm not going to put... Uh, I'm not going to put myself out there and call who I think might win this because, uh, as you said, Dale, that explosion that we're kind of anticipating to happen at any moment now in the next few minutes from Pilot could still turn things around. Two goals. I mean, that's just a one-two-point conversion, and all of a sudden it's even Stevens. 
and I don't want to take away all the uh, the hard work and the efforts by Travieso, but this is not a done deal yet. A uh, big hit by Facundo, and then Tony, and I like this up. They're going to call uh, pilot, uh, Curtis riding in from behind, but again, you need to be aggressive here, and you're better off stopping the clock and playing, so go for that ball. If you get it, you know. And a very, very, I just like it, high-end aggressive call. He's going to be calling a foul, 5A, going back to Trevier, so. Oh, what a nice little lofted shot, a lob shot. And, uh, yeah, and look at that, Pierres versus Pierres, Nero versus Torres. And it's going to go back in favor of Travieso. Uh, you see, this is probably going to be the strategy. Keep possession of that ball for as long as you possibly can. It's cheeky steal. But uh, the umpires didn't like that. Round they go here. Looks like Nero had is fighting with uh, Santi in here. Then Walmart goes to back it, bounces off a pony, picked up here and controlled everybody going to a man. Look at the Travieso. That gives. Uh, but then they all then they they leave their man for a moment, turn back up inside, and they're going to call a right away violation right there on the steal. Now, both teams still have challenges. And it looks like we're going to have, uh, well, we're going to have a courtesy change. And I believe a challenge has been made, or at least a trigger. A chance for our IRO in the studio to have another look at that play. Yeah, so I don't know if they use the courtesy changer, but you are going to get a challenge. And, um, uh, you know, I like it for... Risk reward, risk reward matrix, uh, six chucker challenge, and uh, could be, you know, could have made, could have been tight there on the meet. Yeah, it looked, it looked a bit. But another one, you know, I like the call on the field again, but a great one to be able to look at. So they challenge it. They are going to lose their challenge. Call will stand. Okay. Um, right away violation on the steal, but once again, um, you know, great opportunity. And also, you, you know, you'd be saving an open goal penalty there. So, a great job by Pilot trying to, trying to win that challenge there. At the moment now, open goal. And I'll put Pipe back on the line. Oh, they're going to go with a 40, so, or, or 60, I'm sorry. So, that's even a little help. It's going to be uh, Pipe's first 60 of the day. And if you want one, you need one. Ooh, that would have been a good one. And that would have been uh, so everybody a little bit shaky yeah, on the 60 yet today for so. the four for the fours and the sixes anyway both teams let's keep an eye on that clock coming up to uh, or coming down to the four minute uh, mark as uh, Facundo Pierre is will get things underway now first man he needs to get past is uh, Juan Martin Nero he's left it behind for Antonio Heggie Antonio, uh, first man, he needs to get past his Tony Kaye. Nero coming back, leaving uh, the ball initially there where it was. No, some once again on the defense, how tight. Yep. And they're not easing up at all. No, they're not. Look at Nero. <laughs> yeah, Working they, hard with the number fours. Yeah, he want, they, I think it's a question of who wants this more at the moment. It very much feels like Treviesa just wanted a bit more. Back to Facundo. He's found a little gap. Will he go through it? Well, he's in the position to take a shot. Now watch this ball. That ball is running and running. Unlucky. Unlucky not to get a piece on that because Pippa Virginina was right there. But again, he timed it just right for Facundo Pierres. Yeah, Facundo, again, showing you that tangle style. Working it in there, hammering this ball from way out. Again, how did he see it through there? Just bad luck as uh, Tamacho was in a really Tomacho. good spot, actually. Pieres. And, uh, wow, look at one goal difference. And anybody's game. Anybody's Total. game, yeah. Go right down to the end here. Uh -huh. We're going to go our final courtesy change here in the six chucker. And uh, so one goal difference, and this is where uh, it's a very exciting time in the game because everybody on fresh legs now. And uh, so we will see. Like you say, Yan, who wants it more? It's going to come down to that right now. First place team against the fourth place team. Pilot winning their division, winning the cross bracket. No competition, 3-0. and 
Everybody else was two, uh, all the close teams were two and one. Uh, two and one. Oh and two, oh and threes. Let's see, oh and three, one and two. But uh, yeah, so they, they were dominant along with the Audi group down in division in the bracket three that were going to play this afternoon. And then you had your center teams, of course. Travieso winning the playoff against the Maltese Falcons and uh, keeping the uh, keeping it going here. But they, like I said, time to finish. Right now, Facundo might have a little bit, might have a little edge. I know you're talking to Travieso, like I said. So they're going to keep driving here. Anybody's ball game, anybody's match. Can I make a prediction now? Yeah, you want to go? Go ahead. What do you think? Well, I'm asking you. What is your prediction? Oh, I'm, I, it's anybody's game. I'm, it's the coin flip. I think both teams are playing really good out. It's going to be, uh, you know, got to score goals here. <clears throat> so we'll see. Just forget about every every part of the the uh, the game now. Play the final two fifty eight. Clean, so you know, free your mind and just play <laughs> because uh, the moment. Oh, did he get hit with the ball here? Keep an eye on this. Ball's going to get bowled in here. And, oh, another horse. That's what happened. Oh, the horse hit him on the shoulder there. Looked like when they went to turn, when. Uh, Tamacho went to turn with Facundo. His horse looked like the horse's head kind of, yeah, kind yeah. of caught him a little bit there. We'll take a time out here. And we will see what uh, if it just uh, breaks of the game, bowl in, or I didn't think it looked like it was even. If there was a, a foul or not. I don't think so. Now they're going to bowl it, yeah. Bowling from the center of the board. So just breaks of the game. Kind of just up down to make sure uh, injury timeout. And here we go. Yeah. Possessions are big. This is the key word, Dale. Exactly that. Possession. Heggy. Yeah. And he's holding on to it for dear life. Well done. But look at that. Straight away. Two purple shirts coming to take uh, the seven goal out of the equation. Facundo. Yeah. Running into his uh, teammate pilot there. And that could be a broken play, which Travieso will uh, gladly take and work. Now then, Santi Torres, last man standing, yeah, clears it, but how far has he cleared it? There is uh, Tomacho, no, he's going to leave it for Calle, i.e. for Nero. What a play, Tony. Yeah, clever, very clever, clever play. play. Especially against Facundo. And now back to Santi Torres, again, pushing Pilot deep into their own half. Early challenge, out to the right, looking for... Facundo, Facundo back now looking for and finding Antonio Heggy, but uh, yeah, and he's done very well. Broken play here now, but uh, can he get round Tomacho? Tomacho, he's got a player on both sides of him. This time he clears it. Nothing Torres could have done there. And then did Heggy already jump on that uh, right of way clearly not as far as the umpires are concerned play continues and it'll be juan martinez let's have a look at the clock under a minute and a half left to play still that one goal keeping at travieso with uh, one foot already in the final on wednesday but can they keep it going over time tomacho pierre is out to the right hand side broken play again travieso tomacho on the approach makes no mistake here he's got facundo pierre is behind him tomacho pierre is makes it double figures for travieso coast to coast like butter on toasts tomacho and Walmart finds him Facundo went for the ride off on him, but you got to give love to the gray pony here. And Facundo knows now he's just got to fall into the rumble seat and hope for the uh, miss. But the first ride off, Facundo was going for Tamacho and the gray pony just won the ride off. And uh, very, very nice stroke there by Tamacho Pierres, to, especially when you're getting ridden off at that speed. And uh, that'll give him that two-goal swing here in the final 30 seconds. Looks like Santi went to change. Facundo 
I thought he might take it back and jam one. Look at this. He might hit one from 120. 130. Rolling into the red zone. Cleaned up by Nero. And the clock goes tick, tick, tick. Wow. So there you go. Chevy Aso. Well done indeed. Congratulations to Tony Kaye, who I thought played absolutely uh, cracking polo. Tomacho Pierre as well. No comment there, picking up three goals. Likewise, Pipi Vecchelino and, of course, the engineer behind it all, Juan Martinero. Congratulations to uh, Traviesa. Commiserations. And they were so close to Curtis Pilot, uh, to uh, Santi Torres, and Tony Hege, and Facundo Pierres. Yeah, congratulations, Traviesa, uh, going to the finals. And, of course, Pilot, uh, great game. For Yan Eric Frank, I'm Dale Schwetz. I speak for everyone here at CTV Sports. I want to say thank you for making us leaders of polar broadcasting. And always remember here at CTV Sports, we love the polo.